Hey guys, Sadie. So, I um, wanted to show you guys this was already put together, this random number generator. You can have it do one digit, two digit, digits, or three digits. And I was just wondering, like, how random is it? And what I really wanted to do was have it so it I could have a timer with a relay and an automatic switch that would just keep hitting this and then just one for each digit. You don't really need to see the display, but just to count each of the, the digits. So you know, you'd have 10 count, you'd have a, a automatic relay going off over and over again, and then as fast as possible. And then you'd have um, 10 counters to count how it is. So this was um, this Maxtronic kit that I've shown you guys and it looks like it's in Thailand Thai well what is Thai they don't is it Thai they say speak Thai well um what it does say but I wish this company well they put it together so you know you just gotta deal with it but they have a lot of cool kits, but I don't understand why they're hard to get on. Uh, so I purchased it from the biggest rainforest in South America. And you can separate the number, you can separate the display. Okay, you can separate it and then you can have one digit or two or three. So it's, it says a bingo counter or it's some kind of random lottery type of thing so i you know i like numbers so much and i'm just and then randomness is i just it's just fascinating like you know there's um if you guys saw that um that movie from years ago what was that movie from years ago? Okay. What the Bleep. You remember that movie? What the Bleep? So in that movie, they had random number generators and they had people trying to influence the random number generators. So there's a lot of... That's a really great movie. I need to see it again. I watched it over and over and over and over and over and over again. But so then I did 793 of those and just tallied up each digit. So with the zeros, we had 64. With the ones, we had 79. The twos, we had 74. And the threes, we had 88. Then the fours, there's 105 of the fours. And then all the way down to 73 of the fives, 86 of the sixes, and 72 of the 77s, and then 83 of the 80, 83s, 83 eights. And then 69 nines. It, okay, so that was almost 800 random things. So, um, and then here's what I came up with this. You could see it. You could see it. So, this is a small sample, but I was just kind of wondering how it would, you know, play out if it favored sometimes if you get those random things like the dice things or the electronic um 
uh, like a one through ten or something like that. Sometimes it seems like it. It, if you really were to count them out, it favors a little bit of one or the other, and that could be just because the voltage you're using. It could be the temperature is probably a big factor, but it truly should be somewhat random, but some of those that are put together as little kits and to be random, sometimes you wonder. But I can I can only just wonder because I haven't made a, um, you know, I haven't made a, a big study of it to test each one of these under conditions. So wouldn't it be interesting to test this like with 10,000 tries or 50,000 tries and then do it under different temperatures? Like you, you couldn't argue with those results. You couldn't argue with those results. Um, I mean, you could analyze them whatever way, but what obviously what we're looking for is a trend. That's what any type of gaming or okay so what do you guys think it'll be so there's three three of them here i think what do you think we'll just if i i want to get a one and a seven so yeah i lost all my money i'm bankrupt i lost all my money on that one i didn't even get a one or a seven so that would have been you know two two chances like 20 percent for each of them or 10 percent for each of them 20 percent times well I, won't, I don't want to bore you guys with probability and statistics but i was thinking of like the standard deviation and stuff and uh, you could get you know you could just get insanely uh, complicated with the standard of deviation and all the the q and the um all that stuff I remember from statistics class and that that was just so difficult because it just kept going on and on and on just I, I mean it's, it's interesting but it just took a long time to absorb it but then it's like this is a real life useful thing or you know what always fascinated me is um, traffic how traffic patterns work, how cities um, use power and turn off um, the, you know, the lighting and the ambient, like if they, um, you know, that to study like New York with its, um, you know, with all, think of all the metrics you could have with all of uh, the lighting, the power consumption, the activity the heat scales and i mean i mean it would just be but but traffic patterns are always interesting i think you know you're always at a light and you're wondering like did they study this or you'd want the traffic to be the most efficient way right you'd want it to be you would think that the um the government or the city that they would study those things and there'd be engineers and people with degrees that would come up with that and then you're like at some intersection or some light and you're wondering why it's and you know you well you always see those things like the things cut in the ground well there's a sensor in there or they have a sensor on the, the top of the traffic signal and you know they sometimes people say well you flash your lights or something or sometimes if it doesn't if it's um well then some of them automatically go off you know like if you're at three in the morning it'll be like the flashing yellow and flashing red yellow red yellow you know just because what well, should be like that 
but maybe not in New York City in a certain area, but in a one-stop town. So, you know, that's just really fascinating um, to study that. I wish I could have a job doing that because it's like a physical, real-world application. And then you'd be wanting to help people. You'd be wanting to help people be efficient you know why because because i mean imagine if you imagine if like a million people wasted five minutes of their day in new york city a million people wasted five minutes of their day and and of course you could just go into buddhism and say well you know there's no such thing as a waste of time or there's zen you know you that philosophy but in our western world in our production with you know i worked at amazon and target and they're always just like you know it's down to the micro not the microsecond but millisecond on your scans so well i mean we want the world we want to have the world but we don't want to become machines we don't want to become have the machines take over slowly taking over all of us but machines can help us you know and, and probably in the 1940s oh i'm sorry yeah this kit this is a heart kit that i want to build oh my god it's 11 minutes you guys it's 11 minutes already okay all right so I want to um, build this little heart kit, and I got this from the greatest Amazon, <laughs> the greatest rainforest in um, South America, and they have a red one and a green one, and I have the red one at work, and here's the green one, and I want to make the white one. So it's just like a little flashing heart, but you could do so much stuff with it. You could do so much stuff with it. Um, it like pulses and um, you could make it trigger all kinds of different ways and it just uses the old uh, well it just uses the LM358 thing on there I was thinking it used the 555 timer but that's just the that's the most popular one, but this is a popular one here, this little guy here, the LM358. But I want to just make this little heart thing, and it's pretty easy. So it has the LED lights, of course, and yeah, it doesn't come with the... I'll let you see the box. That it came in. You could probably Google those numbers and get it from the biggest rainforest in South America. But it was really, it's really uh, affordable. And so I got those, I got those uh, before. I purchased them before. So I purchased them before. And um, I revi revisited my purchase because they're so useful. And um, so I was watching, uh, I was just got off watching Adafruit do their thing. And, you know, that's, you know, it's really cool. I wish that I was like 14 years old in, in high school or whatever and and Adafruit was like around like that would be so cool because they have with the 3d printing and all the the stuff you can make like it would just be it would just be i i mean i would be so far gone i would not have any friends i would be at home well no i would be well if if i well if the internet was around and, you know, I would be making stuff, but I would still be a weird kid. You know, I'd still be a weird kid, 
But but the the fact that you can create that stuff with the three D printing and the Ada, all the Adafruit stuff and all the Raspberry Pi stuff and all the stuff they're making. Um, okay, so I got that on there, and then we've got the switch. But I probably just don't want to use that. I probably just want to use wires for it, but we'll put the switch on there anyway. But um, they were talking about some of the Halloween stuff that they're going to have coming out. And it looks so cool. It looks so cool, like the little like necklaces and stuff you could make with some of the you know, the Raspberry Pi or the Pico, the Featherwing things, like, it would just be really, it would be really cool what you could design for Halloween or Christmas or anything, you know. I think that's the coolest thing is to just kind of make something out of electronics. It, and it doesn't have to be, like, extravagant, you know, it doesn't have to be, it's just fun to make something. I mean, like, what are your other options? Like, if you can have some type of housing to put stuff in, like, you know, cardboard or wood or 3D printed stuff. But then you can have it. It's kind of like it's alive. That's what I like about electronics. It's like, it's kind of like they're alive. It's kind of like it's a living thing. I mean, the... Uh, we can't say that electrons have consciousness or anything like that. We can't prove that something like that is bizarre. Is that we we just say it's dumb energy, which which it sounds kind of weird to say that energy is dumb. Like it's just this dumb random force or something. It's energy is just this dumb thing like gravity it doesn't kind of make sense to think like that there's obviously something more intelligent or something with electrons and stuff like that uh, i got a solder bridge here okay there okay that's on And, oh, you guys, I heard the, that I Will Survive, that Cake song. Well, they did the I Will Survive song, but Cake did it. And I thought that was new. And I just heard it for the first time. And I was like, I was like, well, how good could that be? And they, it was so good. It was <laughs> so good. I was like, damn, that's really, I really like that. It's amazing how somebody can read or um, just sing a song a different way or whatever, just have their own style on it. So it's like, there's so many songs that have been written, but then, why isn't the soldering working? It's always nice to hear them, but some collaborations you probably don't want to hear or you don't care about. Why is that? I need a better. I don't know why it's doing this. This this kit this kit is usually pretty good because it like adheres. You know you get those solder pads that sometimes it won't stick to it like it won't adhere, and then you say, well, you are you using flux? Are you using? Um, is it, what type of solder? Is it cheap solder? Is the you know the? But sometimes there's something on those, like the pads that they have. They just don't. It won't adhere to it. It's like the copper ones work really well, obviously. But um, sometimes it just like grabs right on there. You know, it works. It works so well. This is a low power one though. 
But I need a, it would be nice to find a better station, but you know, that, oh, that's one of the things that Adafruit was talking about in the one that they did today is, um, you know, it's an important point if you're some kind of inventor or creator or you make things is you always want it to be perfect. You always want it to, you, you just, it has to be perfect. And it sometimes that stops you from, from like, it's a barrier. Let's not say it stops you from doing things, but it's a barrier. If you want it to be perfect, you just have to make, you just have to make it as best you can. And they were talking about how they started out. Adafruit started out and they didn't have all the fancy stuff. And um, you look at like Lewis Rossman in the Rossman group that he's built. Well, it's just like you take out your camera and you start making it. It's like one how much more successful would some electronics companies be? They get young people in there in their twenties or thirties or whatever, it doesn't matter. And they, they're on TikTok or something and they um wanna put their like what they're making on there like you know, and like the managers will be like, Oh well, you know, we have to make it nice. We have to make it really nice. We can't have the people, our investors will look at that and they'll see the the background. We have to make it perfect. Like everything has to be like Instagram perfect. It doesn't even make any sense, you know? I mean, if you're like some kind of chef or something and you're in Hell's Kitchen and you're cooking and you're just using the pots and pans you got from Goodwill and you're like, I'm going to take over this city. I'm going to be the best chef in New York city. And you don't wait for that perfect thing to come. Like did Steven Spielberg wait, like, like say, well, I can't make any jaws until we have CGI graphics and stuff. It would be, it would be really nice. He said they're drinking his Corona going, it would be really nice if we had this, some kind of computer to make the jaws. And you know, none of the, what somebody else would have made it. Zuckerberg, <laughs> Smithers Zuckerberg would have made it up. It's like you, you have to work with what you have and do the best you can. But what, what my point was is, is how many other electronics companies would be more get their name out or if they just let people, um, one of the other places I was at, I wanted to show one of the other places I worked at electronics that I wanted to show, like, I was so excited about it. You guys, I was so excited about it and I wanted to learn everything about it, the, these things, the cable amplifiers, I wanted to take them. I wanted to take it home and like show you guys on YouTube, like this is what we do. And this is what we, this is how we tweak it. And they're like, Oh, well, it's a uh, owned by the company and they have this stuff and you, you know, all the corporate stuff, but I don't know. Could you have your stuff on TikTok or something? Who cares? It's like, what is, What's the big deal? But, you know, that's always my ideas of things get in the way of, well, they're just like, just solder these capacitors, just do this, just unsolder that, just scan the city, just be quiet, just scan the barcode and put it in the box and we'll worry about it later. <laughs> just... <laughs> I mean, I'm, I always, I'm interested in my jobs and I want to think about it. It's not like I'm trying to exploit stuff. I, like why would anyone take a job and want to want the company to be a disaster or something? You know, it's like, I think my job is, okay, oh, what is, I need to remember these resistor codes. I cannot. That's got to be, well, yeah. okay, I'm not, I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to mess this up. 
I'm just going to have to... Red, red, black, that's 22 ohms, right? That's the 22 ohms. Oh, come on. It's just not... I wish this was working. Oh, there it goes. Good. I had to wake up. I guess I was off. Okay, that one's got to be the 22 ohms. That's the red, red. Yeah. Red, red, black. 22 ohms. You got to remember that. Red, red, black. Hmm. Red, red, 22. How could we remember that? Red, red, 22. 22. 22, red. A red, red, 22 books. Red, 22 books. And eight black beans. I read 22 books and eight black beans. There's your red, red. There's your resi your 22 ohm resistor. Now these other ones. So it's, sometimes it's so easy to, like if you have three of them, like on this one I've got three 47Ks. So you just can easily just go like, well, this one's... Um, you just find the one that has the three. But then sometimes you get those kits where it's like, it's all the resistors are like a bunch of different <laughs> values. You're like, come on, guys. Come on, engineers. Come on. Just cut us some slack. Don't you want to order the same parts? You know, why does, every, why does it have to be so? Well, I mean, if it's some kind of amplifier or something. Okay, yeah, 45K. I wonder if the tolerance, it's not important. It's not that important, but you wonder. Okay, yeah, those are all pretty good. They're just a little low, though. 45, 46, and on, those are the 47Ks. They're just reading a little low. I guess that's better for a resistor in that range. You want it to, because I guess as resistors age out, they kind of go up in value, right? We have Mr. Carlson will tell us about that. I think they go, they kind of, they seem to kind of go up, or if, or if they short, you know, if they short. But it seems like resistors kind of go up in value as they age, go up in value as they age. They go up in, you know what I mean. Um, but then it's proportional, you know, if it's like a one meg, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know, like the scale. It goes up. It creeps. We could say it creeps. Resistance creeps up. So since these are reading a little under, I'm <laughs> they're nice and fresh. <laughs> nice fresh resistors you got there. Got to have the nice fresh resistors on there. Oh yeah, and speaking of Mr. Carlson, did you hear that on the last video Mr. Carlson did? Um, he gave a shout out to Shango, 066 to Shango. Well, he's, he's the only Shango. Everybody knows who he is. With it, he's always doing those radios, those Russian radios, and well, he does a lot of TVs. He does a lot of TVs, but he does a lot of those little. Uh, pocket radios, which I don't see anybody else doing those, but he's the Sh the Shango guy is always doing those. And Mr. Carlson, uh, like I almost thought I was like hearing stuff because I'm watching, you know, Mr. Carlson so, um, you know, kind of laid back or not laid back, but just monotone or whatever. I don't know. He's just, you know, he's 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 Mr. Carlson, like a teacher or something okay and then uh and then he's like oh you should check out shango 066 channel <laughs> and i was like i was like what 
Dude, what did it, what happened? What did he just say? Give a shout out to Shango. It was so funny. I couldn't believe it. I was like, that's crazy. But you know what? Um, I like Shango's sense of humor because he has those end of line things. He has those end of the line things and it's our end of life. End of the line? E L O E End of Life. I don't know, he blows up stuff. <laughs> you gotta love me. I just <laughs> when he was like blowing up the capacitors, I was like I was like, I love this guy. <laughs> just so funny to see those capacitors blow up. Well, he's done some funny stuff on there. But, yeah, he fixes a lot of the TVs. He fixes a lot of those TVs out in California. They have all those, all those, all, all those people that had established California in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and 70s, and they had, they were the ones that purchased. So out in California in that time period, just think of what, what, what state was probably Florida and Texas. Florida and California were probably purchasing the most of those TVs because of the older people that had money, or whatever, but I mean, I, you could just say, well, it's just population, you know, yeah, it's population, but it just seemed like, you, you know, if you were up in Idaho or something, did they even care about TV? They'd be like, when it came out in 1955 in Idaho, they were like, we're going fishing. Oh, honey, did you see they got this, these TVs, these new TVs, and then the husband, like, takes the paper and throws it in the trash and is like, we're going to wrap our fish in the, <laughs> we're going to wrap our bass in the, you know, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's an exaggeration, but, you know, all the people in Hollywood and California are just sitting around, they're going to watch Johnny Carson on the TV. So all these people have all these TVs and radios and stuff, and then Shane Go fixes them up, but, um, that's what that's what you got there i mean that's where you know like they'll say like old cars from the 60s and 70s and stuff if, if they were in the south they were a lot better because of all the all the salt they put in the north on the on the um on the roads and stuff you know so it's like that would, so with like the northern car so it's like you you're selling your 68 corvette or something and you're you're like oh i got a guy from vermont i've got a guy in in arkansas and then the one's all rusted out. No, we keep it in the garage. Oh, it's got a little rust on it. Uh, you know those Vermont winners. Are, you know how those Vermont winners are. <laughs> it's like, all right, go on. We're not going to pay the Vermont prices for a rusted <laughs> rust bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to making your damn ice cream. <laughs> so, so, you, you don't need cars up in Vermont. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> okay, alright, I gotta focus on this. I gotta focus on this. Damn it, why is that not... Oh, come on. This is why Huh. Why did I get well it's just not behaving very well. I think this soldering tip is kinda of going downhill. 
I don't know what the lifespan is on the soldering tips. But I think just try to keep it as low heat as possible. You don't want to... Okay, that's not really cooperating very well. Okay, there it goes. Okay. God, if I ever get this thing to work. Well, I mean, I gotta make it, but it's just a matter of... I'm just distracted by my s stories about stuff. Okay, well, so, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to tell you guys about stuff that I was watching and stuff that I do spend a lot of time watching the all the electronics people on there. I wish there was more people that did did more. I mean I, mean, I don't I wish I could do, produce a little bit better of a you know I don't I don't believe in editing and I don't <laughs> I don't even have the... Oh, I can tell you about my job that I'm doing now. That'll take up... Okay, 92K. 92K. Where's that at? Oh my gosh, that's not the 100. What? Is that... Well, I mean, I guess it's in spec, right? 93k for the 100k? Alright. Okay, so yeah. Oh yeah, I could, t I could talk for about my job a lot. Yeah. So we're doing the... Um, They have it like they were the RF attenuators, and then they had me working on some RF like power dividers, and um, yeah, the guys that I work with have been there for so long. They're just like you know they have the micro, the surface mount chips in there, along with you know, all the metal for the RF stuff, and it's just like the surface mount stuff just like clinging on there. One of, I should have taken a picture of this, you guys. I got, I will take a picture of this. They had this capacitor, this surface mount capacitor on its side, like angled between two different th things of metal, and, and then there was like stuff off of it. I was like, I was like, that's, like it's just creatively wedged in there. I mean, it, it's it's mechanically connected right, and it's electrically connected right. Correct. I mean, it's. But it's just just looking at it, you're somebody would be like, well, it's a surface mount mounted on its side. It's not a side mount, but anyway, any way you can connect anything electrically is. You know, it's legit. It's like, it's, it's good, you know, but it's just funny to see that on there. But so they have me working on those and just testing them. Okay. Now this is where I always think, okay, so on these LEDs, on the LED, oh, sh oh I forgot to show you guys the progress. Yeah. I need to, my nails are dirty. God, I can't do anything right. I wish I could just be totally put together and whatever. I mean, eventually I'll get there, you know. Get, okay, so on the long, so when you got the, the triangle with the line, that is the cathode, and then the longer line, corresponds to the the longer lead on these LEDs is the anode. 
So, okay, what's the best way to do this? See, I'm almost done with it. Oh, wow. I, but it's all the lights that I have to... It's all the lights that I have to get in there. Um, okay, so the long one is going to go. I just because if I put them all, if I put them all in the wrong way, that's not good. Just, well, then you could maybe just like reverse the traces because they're all connected together. I, I mean, but why make extra work for yourself? I'm just saying, like, there's a there's always a way to fix things. And then the other thing that I notice is sometimes they do they like to do a square, and that's for the positive one. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. Just the short, the the line on top of the triangle, that's the cathode, and that's the short one. You know, you'd think you'd know these things. But the thing is, it's like, I always just get things like dyslexic reversed all the time, so... Just it, that's why it takes me so long to do stuff. I'm like checking, 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 checking to make sure that you know it's would be nice to just blindly do stuff, but I am impulsive with other things. I'm impulsive probably with things that you shouldn't be, but then I'm like sitting here trying to make why is there solder over there oh, guys what? oh because i i think because i was like smack i was like doing that so i have a a really good oh my god it's 42 minutes okay we gotta get this going we gotta get this going uh, I don't know. <laughs> you guys are. Um, we could talk about. Yeah, we could talk about the the job more. Yeah, it's 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 really interesting. I like all the analog stuff, but of course they use digital stuff to control it. But all the analog stuff will never go away. It's it's just part of. It's just part of the way things are. No. No, I can't. It's so weird to get it all flipped around. Okay, I think I got it in the long lines. Yeah, I mean, I should. I want to get like a camera to show like what I'm doing and have it have it um, like zoomed in and have the camera the picture in the picture so you, then I could uh, be talking about it and then doing it at the same time and then I could you could see what I'm referring to there just have to show you guys more but it would be nice if I had a little I do have it a little camera that I take off but I don't know what software runs it or how to get the picture in picture because I just have the um, the thing that came with this HP the thing that came with the HP I guess just get an app. I could go to the Google store and get and just type in picture in picture video. That's probably all you need to do. Because it doesn't really matter. It's just putting the it doesn't matter how many videos you have. It's just taking up the the pixels. 
you know, you could have you could have a hundred little small pixel little small cameras all in one H like one four K thing. You could have a hundred. I mean, what what is four K? You know, it would even it would even be like you know it would be like. 88p cameras you could have a hundred of them in the 4k you know it's, it's still information just because it's it's not perfectly it's not perfectly i mean we expect so much digital stuff with the you know oh yeah i want to tell you guys when i'm watching youtube i'm watching it just on the laptop and i'll just turn down the Resolution, because a lot of times I'm just like listening to them, or you can see what they're doing. You don't have to see, like, have it bumped up all the way. Even though I think we have unlimited Xfinity, blah 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 stuff here. I think it's a unlimited whatever, but it's like why, why just use up extra stuff? It's like if you're, um, you know, if you're taking a shower and it's like. You're just like letting it, like you can let your shower warm up as you get ready, but you could just, but you don't really want to waste water. Like why waste a bunch of bandwidth or, you know, if you can use Wi-Fi or something, why, why waste all that? You, Cause you're getting the information. It's like, how is your experience going to be any different if you have it turned down to like 360p or 480 versus it's like you're watching on a on a laptop why would like you, you don't even really even notice it it's like i gotta have the 5g i gotta have the h and then when the 8k is gonna come out you guys everybody's gonna the 5g well well yeah the the 8k is gonna be a lot is going to be doable with the 5G so much easier, but it's just like, it's just kind of like if you have a sports car and you just want to speed around, like, oh, I'm just going to go pick up bread. I'm just going to go pick up bread. And you just like, you know, put the best gas in there and then put like extra boosters in there. It's just like, <laughs> I guess if you have, if you have the, you want to have the nicest, fastest stuff. I mean, if you're a gamer or something, it would matter. But if you're just watching YouTube videos, like, like mine, <laughs> or anyone's. Okay, well, is this working out good? God, I could do this a little bit faster, you know. I'm, I'm telling you... That one, see, it's like I sw I'll switch it around. It's like it just. And then the other thing is, is like they, you can't always count on them to make it uniform, because they'll just, well, it's now got it a little bit better in there okay all right so then oh this is a nice trick you guys probably already know this but you just if you're going to put this upside down you just put something on top of it then flip it over okay we all know that trick another good trick is um you know if you're in the bulk bins, you can take the bag and instead of using the little tongs, you just take the bag like it's a glove and grab some of the bulk bin with the bag. You grab the handful that you want instead of using the little tweezers that everybody has touched. You can just use the bag like a glove and grab out of the bulk bin at the health food store or wherever and then you just take it out and it's like 
you use the bag like a glove and you grab what you want instead of using a little tweezers like we oh, use a little tweezers it's like oh, I want one I want two I want three <laughs> it's so it's so dainty it's like I'm like I like put the bag over my hand and just grab a bunch of them in there and then people at Whole Foods are like no Sadie you gotta the tweezers are there for a reason we sanitize the tweezers and we have UV lights that come through with UV lights on the tweezers and then we have spray for COVID and then uh, you know you use the tweezers don't reach in there with the bag over your hand and grab oh my gosh 50 minutes okay all right we're so close to getting this done but this is I just got to solder these little thing, these little parts on here. But they're, you know what we could talk about though, is the fall is coming. You know, it, it's the summer you always think, you always think like, oh, this summer, I'm so tired of the summer. I'm so tired of the summer. It's, uh, it's relentless, this heat. This heat is killing me. It's it's awful. And I was complaining about that on Instagram, the heat. But you just, it goes so fast. It goes so fast that summer, and then all of a sudden, it's like the days are getting shorter. And then they're getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. And it's getting colder and colder. And all of a sudden, you're like, uh, what happened to the summer? Hey, Hey, how come it's not so, oh my gosh, is it fall is happening? You don't want to wish your life away, you know. But we always look forward to, I think that's just a natural thing to look forward to something else, like the holidays. Everybody loves the holidays except for probably except for the people that work in the Bahamas or wherever and they're like oh god all those people are coming to Cancun again for the holiday they're like oh yeah we can make money but we'll just have to stay up all night drinking Red Bull and and taking care of these these people these tourists you know, we make the money and well, you should always tip good if you're tip well, if you're, if you ever go anywhere, I think, I think it's just a good thing because you're, you know, it's just, you're helping out someone else that has a, you know, I can, I can, I would be, a, I would be an awful waitress. I would be the worst waitress. I would mess up, you guys, I would mess up this stuff all the time. And then I, oh my gosh, that would be the worst job for me. I would mess up all this stuff and then I would get an attitude that I'd probably flirt with the people or something. I don't know. It would be a disaster. It would be horrible. It would be, it would be awful. I mean, they have those restaurants where the people are mean to them, but, but you know that they're being, you know it's an act. It's not the same. Oh, this solder is just too, I think that, you know, it's this tip is just getting kind of, it's just not, so yeah, so that's what happens when the tip of the soldering iron starts to go. Or well, I don't have the cleaning thing. Like I'm just just doing this. Okay. I don't have the. Well, this has rosin stuff in it, but um, I think this this was just a cheapo little soldering iron. Sometimes those work really well though. But it would be nice to have. You know, the deluxe, was it the Heiko ones that, those are like the best, 
the best soldering irons or the you know it's like the blue and yellow the Heiko Hako I don't know what it is but it's those are probably really nice anyway okay I'm almost done you guys I should probably edit this down to edit this down to five minutes <laughs> it's, it's terrible I'm not gonna get anything done oh my gosh I smell a hair burning I one of my little hairs got onto that we sacrificed a little hair okay it's almost done so what I want to do with this heart is um, I thought it would be so cool to put this under your clothes because um, and have the little heart thing and you could make it into like with oh my gosh I like combining art and electronics I'm sure that it would be so cool you could just do so much stuff I would want to do that but what I would want to do is like high voltage stuff and then you know you I don't know like there you you'd have disclaimers or then somebody would just like if I made stuff and then sold it to people then they would be like then if you start making money and then you could you can't just you just like you just can't give people chemicals and stuff to play with you can but high voltage stuff you could do so much cool stuff with it but we'll just have to work with our lead our leads and our neo pixels and all that stuff you can still do a lot but i just think it would be so cool to to do some kind of you know not not like frankenstein high voltage stuff but you could just do some really cool stuff with with high voltage like if you had a bunch of marbles like um rolling around and you had um a high voltage and there would be sparks between them and they would be like rolling around on this thing and it would be like a kind of uh like a visual thing but then it would be have the high voltage in there and then it would you know as they got closer they would have a spark between them i don't know somebody's probably already made that but you know that would be cool to have in an art museum something like that where you could see the sparks between it and it would be in, encased in something and it would be like metal balls and then you like as they kind of just randomly which that's the key is random i love random stuff randomly just kind of bounced around then the sparks would go between them and stuff and you could have them kind of floating around and stuff or like on little trays or kind of like waves of marbles that are made out of metal and then high voltage and stuff and then you could uh have that all like in some kind of acrylic stuff and then uh you could have like uh like a sound you could have like some kind of sound microphone like under it and then you could like have you could you know those uh like at the art museums where you can like be interactive with it you could like listen to like these it would be just like those weird sounds like those like those sounds you hear from space you know those like the gravitational wave like well even though they kind of modified it or put it the when we had that gravitational wave they had it um you know they you know would it, it would sound like this or they brought it down to our audible audio level or whatever um so Okay, let's see if this works. Okay. So we just need... I don't even have... Well, I'll just have to find... 
This is terrible. But you know what? These cords are so useful for... Oh, I'm not going to cut that one. That's a USB-C cord. These cords are so useful to just cut up and then use the 5 volts. So there we go. This one's going to be have to go. Because I don't have the batteries. It would take too long to look for batteries. But it would take too long to look for batteries. So, so everybody has tons of these cords. But, you know, it's just a little 5-volt power supply that you could just have now. So that's there's nothing wrong with that. And we have all these cords. But, oh, yeah, disclaimer, you probably shouldn't cut cords. Don't cut cords. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't read all the the terms and conditions. Talk to somebody. Don't cut. Don't cut anything unless you have somebody knowing what they're doing. <laughs> um. Yeah. Don't come after me. I don't have anything. I don't have anything to to compensate you for if you burn down your your do your dwelling. As they say in the insurance business, your dwelling. Or is that in the Bible? They say your dwelling. <laughs> it's, it's not a house, it's a dwelling, your dwelling. Um okay, we'll just plug it into the computer here. Oh my god, you guys, I can't no one I'm sorry this video is so long. I'm going to have to get better at, um, okay, well, there's, well, let's see if that power comes through. So I just took off the old, uh, and there, and so we have many of those. Let's see if we do have power on that. Yeah, 5.11 volts of Cold fire fracked electricity <laughs> from well it used to it's in, it used to be Indianapolis Power and Light but some other company has purchased IPL Indianapolis Power and Light some other company now owns owns it and it's not it's not cool you guys it's not it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't flow. I don't know what it is. It's like it's like AES or something. I don't know. It's a disaster. I'm sure that IPL is so cool. They did the Christmas tree around the the circle in Indianapolis, and they had the IPL. It, it sounds way better than this other thing, AES or something. It sounds like the the thing to start your heart, <laughs> like. I don't know. It doesn't. It's just like they randomly. IPL has a nice. It had a better feeling. Why do I have to do that? I have to do that to stuff. Like since when I grew up in uh, where I grew up in north of Indy. That place they had the concert place. It was Deer Creek. Deer Creek, and then they changed it to the the Slits. Oh, Slits. I don't even know what it was. I don't even know. It was like one of those words that the the German words that just doesn't have all the what was it? Clips Music Center or something. Clips. Like, it's like you have to say it to have a lisp or something. Clips, and it was Deer Creek. Okay, it's, it's Indiana. Why can't we call it Deer Creek? Why can't they just call, why don't the Clips, Clips music just be Deer Creek? That sounds way better. Deer Creek music. Hey, that, you know, that sounds better. I, I think than Clips. <laughs> Clips. Clips music. It's probably not even that now. It's probably something else. It's 
It's probably something else, but it was Deer Creek back in the old days. I remember the Grateful Dead actually came there. Like, that must have been in the late 80s. When, when the Grateful Dead actually did play there, I think. Yeah, they did. Okay. All right, guys. One of them's not working. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so awesome. That is so nice. Okay, then it has a little... It has a little rheostat thing on it, and you can turn it to pulse. It's not doing it the way the other one. It just turns up and down. Okay, so there's that. Okay, well, I have the wires on there. Yeah. See, and then you can put it under your clothes. Oh, you guys, look at that. It's awesome. That is so cool. So you could do all kinds of things with this. You could have it blink in different, different ways. You could have it dim. The other... Oh, the red... It's on the red one. If you do get that kit, the red one pulses. Yeah, it's the red one that does that. The red one kind of has a pulsingness to it. And then the, the white and the green ones don't. That's right. Okay. Yeah, so I have two that... Did I put them in wrong? I'll have to fix those. Did I put it in wrong? I don't know. What did I do? How could I mess that up? Well, it's easy to fix. It might not be soldered all the way down. Well, I'll get it working, but yeah. Whoa, you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, see, this is so cool because the cameras pick up the LED lights a little differently than... You can already tell it does something. It's 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 a different quality of light. It's not it's not the same as the incandescent or the other ones. You know, it has a different kind of thing to it. And then, of course, you can make it flash. You know, like forty hertz or fifty hertz, so it kind of looks like it's tracers or something. Oh, you could do so much stuff with this. With, with this kit. So you get three of these um, flashing LED DIY heart shaped LED three set. It's such a good deal, too. I, I just love these. I mean, you could put them as decorations, you could put them in your car. You could, I have one at my in my office. My, I call it my office, my tech bench. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching. Thank you if you made it this far. That's you are you're my special people that that like enjoy me. It's so weird. Okay. Oh, I love that. That is so nice. I like the white one. It looks green almost because it's so bright. It's like that's not even as bright as it'll go. Um. It was brighter. Oh, yeah, there's brighter. Whoa. <sighs> okay, thanks for watching, you guys. You're awesome. Thank you for watching. Love you. Peace out. Stay cool.